if you follow this channel. Actually, I want to know how long you've followed uh, this channel. In the comment section, let me know how long have you actually been subscribed? How long have you been part of Team Chaos? There's a good chance if you have. You're a fan of first-person shooters like I am. Now, FPS games are some of the most popular games in the world right now, thanks to titles like Call of Duty, Counter-Strike, Halo, and many, many more. But one thing that people criticize many shooters for is the fact that they are sold for $60 or more, and then they barely have any content because they expect you to just play the multiplayer and buy microtransactions. Well, today, my friends, today we're going to change that up. I decided to put together a list of shooters that are the exact opposite of that common criticism. What's up guys? Chaos here. Today, we're going to go over 10 of the best free first person shooters that are better in some cases than their $60 counterparts. Let's get into it. At number 10, let's start off with Call of Duty Online. This is unfortunately a Chinese exclusive game developed by Raven Software and published by Activision. Now, Call of Duty Online was first released in January of 2015 in an open beta, which is where it remains today, and it is free to play. That's right. It's the best of Call of Duty game that features tons of fan favorite maps, modes, weapons, customization items, kill streaks, and more from the entire Call of Duty franchise. It's like they took everything and just melted it into one game. If you're someone who has been wishing for Call of Duty and you just want a full throwback game with all the elements that made it great in the first place, Call Online is literally that exact game. The only problem is the fact that it's exclusive to China. And while getting it to work on an American PC is possible, it's extremely difficult. You'll be dealing with 200 to 300 ping in every match. And I really, really hope that Activision sees the possibilities of making COD Online a global game because they could make absolutely bank off of this. Next up, we have another PC shooter that was initially released on PC and consoles, but the console versions were discontinued after a while for unknown reasons. I'm talking about Warface. Initially released in 2013 for the PC, and then the next year for the 360, it is a modern military FPS with many similarities to COD and Counter-Strike. You pick from one of four available classes, sniper, rifleman, engineer, or medic, and then you work with your team to accomplish various goals and objectives in either PvP or PvE modes. While the game has faced some criticism in recent years due to a new publisher taking over and introducing more microtransactions, the game itself is very popular right now, and there are Xbox One and PS4 ports coming out later this year. So if you never got a chance to try it, you're going to soon, and I'm going to be trying it for console when it comes out. At number eight today... Unturned. This is an indie game available on Steam developed by Smartly Dressed Games and designed and programmed by one single man named Nelson Sexton. It entered early access in Steam in 2014 and it finally got a full release in July of 2017 and ever since then it has been received extremely well by gamers. Unturned is a first person survival game with a blocky Minecraft inspired art star where you drop into the map and then you have to look for materials and weapons to fight off the zombie invasion. There are various different ways to play this game, and there's even a battle royale type mode called Arena, where players spawn in the dead center of a map, have to look for weapons, and then of course be the last person standing like in Hunger Games. So, if you want something unconventional for a survival game, Unturned may be what you've been looking for. This month's giveaway is for a new PlayStation 4 console. All you have to do to enter is drop a like on this video, be subscribed to the channel, and turn on your notifications so you never miss an upload. And in the comment section, let me know why you want to win the PS4 and include your Twitter handle so I can contact you if you're the winner. The winner will be announced at the end of the month. At number seven, Deceit. Horror and guns usually don't go well together because of how much horror actually gets eliminated once you get the player a gun. However, Deceit is one of the few gun-based horror games that actually manages to pull this off. Released on Steam in March of 2017, Deceit is a horror multiplayer FPS where you and a group of other players find yourself in an abandoned asylum and a third of you are infected with a virus that turns you into terrifying creatures. The non-infected have to run around, look for weapons, materials, escape the asylum in one piece without getting slaughtered. It is a very interesting and unique take on a more asymmetrical gameplay style. Kind of, kind of like Evolve, I guess. But if there was more than one monster, it would actually it'd be fun. Shots fired, Evolve. At number six, Quake Champions. This is one of the most important and influential video games in the history of the industry. And every time it's in one of my lists, I want to make sure everybody knows that. And I know it fell out of style in the early 2000s. 
The original Quake was released all the way back in 1996, but the last main game in the series was Quake 4 in 2005, and ID Software and Bethesda are teaming up again to try to bring it back into the spotlight with the upcoming Quake Champions, which I am absolutely excited about. It's currently playable in early access. Quake Champions is going to bring the series back to its roots with a very fast-paced arena shooter gameplay, tons of weapons and abilities, and plenty of blood and gore if you like that thing. As announced at E3 2018, the game is $30 for early access on Steam, but the full release will be free to play, so definitely keep an eye out for this one because it should be hitting full release by the end of this year. Cracking into the top five today, we're going to go with Planet Side 2. If you are a fan of large scale battles, and I mean large, okay, like Battlefield, Battlefront, you're probably going to love Planet Side 2. Much like the name suggests, this game is huge. An absolutely huge first person shooter battlefield with some of the biggest maps in the history of the genre. Supporting up to, you ready for this? 2,000 players on a single server. Each team scours the map for weapons, vehicles, and equipment, and you all compete for control of the planet. Planet Side 2 also holds the Guinness World Record for the biggest first person shooter battle, which was awarded to them with a battle of over 1,158 players all fighting at once. Planet Side 2 is currently free to play on Steam. Give it a go. Let's go back to Quake, kind of. We're going to talk about Unreal Tournament at number four. And the Unreal Tournament series is a very influential one that helped shape the first-person shooter genre as well as the multiplayer shooter genre as a whole. But it has kind of fallen out of style, just like Quake did. And, and just like Bethesda is doing with Quake, Epic Games is going to do with Unreal Tournament. The series reboot is simply titled Unreal Tournament. It's currently free to play via early access through the Epic launcher the game is being developed as a side project by epic employees as a passion project and there isn't really any re i mean there's no release date for it but it's definitely going to be a ton of fun to get in and mess around with and relieve the feelings you got while playing the old school unreal games if you ever did it i'm sure you've heard of the unreal engine right if you have the epic launcher installed go give unreal tournament a try at number three paladins this is a hero shooter heavily inspired by games like Overwatch and Team Fortress 2, so much that many people call it, well, they call it a straight ripoff of Overwatch, but I'm not about to open up that can of worms for this specific video. Much like Overwatch and TF2, Paladins has you select a hero from your arsenal and go out to complete objectives and work together as a team in this very, very colorful world that is more about teamwork than it is about running around and getting a ton of kills to make your KD look super impressive. If you're a fan of Overwatch, or a fan of TF2, or both, if you're looking for another game to play, check out Paladins on Steam and consoles because it's on this list, which means it's free. At number two, this is a criminally underrated first-person shooter that is free on Steam right now. Dirty Bomb. It mixes the gameplay of games like COD, Counter-Strike, Team Fortress 2, and others, and it is a class-based shooter with various characters for you to pick from, but the gameplay is more like Call of Duty or Counter-Strike, and after the Black Ops 4 beta, I can honestly see a lot of people starting to pick up Dirty Bomb after playing BO4 because they are very, very similar when you get down to it. If you didn't get enough of the BO4 beta, I suggest downloading Dirty Bomb and giving it a try. The player base is small, but it is a ton of fun and definitely worth waiting a bit to get in a server to mess around with. And finally, the legendary Team Fortress 2 takes our number one spot today. You probably expected this to be number one, right? TF2 is one of the most legendary and influential games of all time, and for good reason. Initially released in October of 2007 as a paid game. It was changed to a free-to-play game in mid-2011, and now it supports itself using microtransactions for cosmetic items like the now-famous hats. The game plays a class-based objective FPS where you pick one of the various characters available and you have to work with your teammates to complete those various objectives. Each class is super unique and handles differently than the others, making certain maps and objectives better for certain classes and honestly worse for others. The gameplay was very, very innovative at the time and it ended up inspiring future games like Overwatch, Paladins, and even the upcoming Black Ops 4. This game has tested time. This game has been through the ringer and it still, over 10 years later, is still being played. Still a top 10 game on Steam. So definitely check it out if you haven't. And once again, it's free. And there you have it, my friends. That is a list of 10 free FPS games that are potentially better than $60 FPS games. There's gonna come a point where these big boys are gonna have to realize, hey, we want good content we also want it free. You guys let me know which of these games you think could go up against the AAA titles that you have to pay money for. Which of these games is your favorite on the list? 
Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, take a second to drop a like. It's free to do. Make sure you're subscribed and make sure you have your notifications on for future videos. I will see you guys soon.